But you have to be smart enough to know, I know what they're trying to do right now. Yeah. So is the 67 rest of them are easy? I can't say that. I'm not saying the 67 are easy. I'm saying that five of them out of the 72 are super hard. But they're not hard that, because you can't figure them out. They're there so that they can mess you up at the time. See, the idea is they don't want you to finish the test. They want to mess you up. But you have to be smart enough to know, hey, I know what they're trying to do. That's a question that they're trying to mess me up on. If you spend more than a minute on a question, it's time to move. Okay? It shouldn't take you that long. Okay? Because at the end of the day, the people who make the test want you to do number one to ten, no problem. Get to number eleven and spend four minutes, five minutes on it. If you spend five minutes on that question, then you can potentially mess up getting ten other questions right. Okay? So like this, if this becomes the brain shaker, you need to know, okay, let me move on to number three. Do number three really fast and come back to it maybe later when you finish the rest of the test. But remember what I said. When you're doing the test and if you skip one, you have to make a note here. Now what happens when you turn on the test? Let's say you leave that mark on the test. What's going to happen? Wrong. Wrong. The whole test is going to be wrong. So the idea is if you make a mark on the test, you have to remember to go back and erase it. You know how many students fail the test because they do that? Because they'll have a mark here and a mark here. Because you taught us. I know, I'm ta I know I taught you that, but I'm also teaching you that when you go back, you have to clean up your work. So you got to make sure that you clean this up. Why would you get it wrong? Well, because there's two marks on the paper now. So here's a mark for the, for the question, right? And let's say right next to it, you didn't know the last name, first name, student ID, your date of birth, and don't forget your gender. Okay? So now we fill everything in nice, and then... As we're taking the test, we make sure that we fill. And look, they even give you a sample. See how the sample looks? Mm -hmm. The sample is very clean. Okay, and the reason is the sa Actually, look at the sample. Is the sample a good example? No. Isn't the sample not filled in correctly? Yeah. It's not filled in all the way, all right? So the idea is what we want to make sure that we do is we want to fill it in correctly. And remember, the test is very sensitive. So if you put any other marks in the test, it may read as wrong. All right, so I tell you what we're going to do. You see one through seven? Yeah. Okay, watch what I'm going to do really quick. I'm going to time you. So it's 30, 38 seconds per question, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like we're on the test right now. And I'm going to put my stopwatch on. You see it says double zero, double zero, double zero. So you have 38 seconds per question. So I'm going to stop you after 38 seconds is over. Okay? And I'm going to show you something. Watch how fast you fill out the first bubble. All right, ready? Set. I just want you to fill in letter A. Go. Go ahead. Which one? A. See, you already filled the test. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's it? That's it. Just fill in. I'm All right, fast. stop. I'm so fast. Okay, now. You know how many seconds it took you to fill in one bubble? It took you less than seven seconds. So what does that tell you? Number one, you, 38 seconds is a lot of time for a question. But guess what's missing from this right now? The question. The question. Okay? It's like that old saying, it's easy to hit a punching bag because the punching bag don't punch back. <laughs> the same thing with this. It's easy to fill out a bubble because the bubble hasn't given you a question yet. <laughs> the idea is you need, you need to be able to look at this question up and down, figure out what it is that they're asking you. One, two, three. The idea is you don't want to spend too much time thinking about any one particular thing. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to fill out number two, three, and four. Ready? One. Are you cheating? Look, you're cheating. That's how you fill it. You really started out. <laughs> so listen. Two, three, and four. 38 seconds. Go. Make sure you're staying in the lines. Okay. Stop. Anybody not finish? Okay, now. I want you to take a look at your answers, okay? Is there any bubbles that are a little not perfect? Yeah. Yeah. Yes? Who said yes? Oh my god. Okay, so now, in this instance, let me show you an example. Look. Shh, shh. Let me show you an example. This person. Not print it clearly. Okay. That's why we messed up. Okay, well, sometimes, well, for the test, don't worry about it. These are copies. But, for example, this person will remain anonymous. This person was obviously on the test. Let's say right now, real time. And they're trying to get it done. Sometimes it's your, actually your pencil that's no good, too. Okay, some pencils are better than others. Like, you ever get a pencil and it's really, really sharp, 
and it's nice. If the pencil is cheaply made, then when you press down on it, it's going to spatter out. So make sure the day of the test, you have the best pencils money can buy. Okay? Also, on this example, most of his answers look like they're one answer. So like in this situation, it looks like this. Okay? That's no good, okay? Because then what happens is, it's like, wait a minute, all three are wrong, okay? So what you want to do is the space that's in between, you want to make sure that space is clear and nothing's in the, in the middle, okay? So now, let's try it one more time. So now we got five, six, seven. Let's do five through 20. 